Marcus, many thanks for your time this afternoon. Obviously, back at Hillside Golf Club, the, the scene of your famous victory in 2019. How good does it feel to, to be back here? It's great to be back. Um, I uh, I flew in last night, and uh, yeah, we're about to to play all 18 this afternoon. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's obviously nice to be here again. Um, just seeing 18 uh, and uh, thinking back to to some good memories in 2019. It's it's a special place. Yeah. What makes it so special? What made that week so special for you? Uh, well, obviously, first win uh, and only win so far. Uh, it's uh, it's a great memory. Um, just yeah, battling down the stretch on on Sunday was it was nice. I before that I had been in contention a few uh, a couple of times before, but uh, yeah, that time I I managed myself a little bit better and uh, and and got the the job done. So that was that was really really cool and uh, yeah, nice nice memory for sure. It's often said when players go back to venues they've played well on in the past, they get good vibes. Do you feel the same walking into this place this week that you can, you know, potentially strive to what you achieved in 2019 this week? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's always the goal. Um, I, I spoke to some of the members uh, at lunch today and they said they made some changes since since 2019. Uh, I can see the first hill uh, it looks, looks a little bit different. And, uh, well, obviously it's like, I don't know, 25 degrees warmer this time, um, and in the middle of the summer, so I think it's going to play a bit firmer and, and faster. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll uh, we'll play 18 today and and uh, make our our game plan. But uh, I'm sure the place is is very similar, and uh, yeah, the good the good vibes will will be there for sure. I do want to touch on the conditions because that week was was very wet until maybe maybe the Sunday. Obviously, it's a totally different golf course and different challenge this week. Did you, do, do you think you can take anything from that win in 2019 that might help in sort of course management this week? Uh, like I said, I haven't been out yet, so it, it's hard to 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 answer that question. But yeah, I'm. Of course, I, I guess the the areas around the greens are, are all the same, pretty much, and uh, just knowing where to where the good leaves are and, and stuff like that. It's uh, it's, I mean, valuable experiences coming into this week, um, and uh, I think most of all, just having having good memories. And I, I remember, I most of the holes, I, I felt pretty comfortable, uh, you know, standing on the tee boxes. And uh, I hope it's the same this year. Uh, we'll, we'll see. It's been uh, it's been a long time since then 2019, but uh, hopefully, I can create some uh, some good feelings again. Yeah. And Marcus, just finally, I want to touch on obviously the last couple of years has, has been quite tough for you, for yourself. What do, what do you put that down to, and do you feel like you're sort of trending in the right direction now as you head into this week? Yeah, I mean, um, a lot has happened since uh, since we were here last time um, for me personally, and also in the world, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm still trying my best, uh, and I feel like. Uh, Overall, uh, we're trending in the right direction. Uh, I mean, it's not a straight uh, line. It's uh, it goes uh, up and down, like for everyone. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm feeling better. Uh, feeling I'm feeling a lot better than I did a year ago. So um, hopefully, we can keep that progress and uh, and uh, build on something this week and and also going forward for the, for the rest of the season. So. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm still trying hard, uh, and uh, hopefully that will pay off eventually. So, fingers crossed. Best of luck this week.